Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to share you some tips on how can we reduce the housing loan interest here. So let's say today we get a house and the house price is around 500000 and we are paying the down payment around 50000 So that basically means that we have to get the rest which is around 450000 from the bank as a housing loan. And let's say the bank charge us the 4% interest. And the bank also allowed us to repay everything in 35 years. And this 35 years is basically referred to 420 months. At the same time, bank also tell us that we have to pay the money installment around 1980. So let's see, how do they actually calculate the interest that they charge us every month? So here we have some simple formula in calculating the interest. What we need is actually the M2 here. The M2 is referring to the first outstanding balance. And the first outstanding balance here is referring to the amount that we borrowed from the bank. So after that, the M2 here have to multiply with the interest, where we have to convert it into a decimal. So the 4% we convert to decimal it turn out to be 0 0.04. And over here, you can, as you can see from the formula here, I'm multiplying with 30 over 365. And over here, I would just assume that in one month, we have around 30 days. If that particular month have 31 days, then actually you have to multiply with 31 over 365. So let's say we follow the instruction of the bank where we have to pay 1980 per month. So we're going to finish everything in 420 months. As you can see here, somewhere back, somewhere go to 420 months and then we get a negative figure for your outstanding balance. That simply means you finish everything. You finish paying everything. So what if today we have some extra money? We want to pay a little bit more for the money installment. So let's say I'm trying to pay 20 ringgit extra every month. Let's see what is the changes here. So let's say I turn the amount here to 2000. So as you can see here, there are some changes in the interest that the bank will charge to us every month. And let's see by which month we're going to finish our housing loan here. So just now it's 420, but then now you can see that it's somewhere in 412. So the impact of extra 20 ringgit here, it simply means that we successfully shorten the repayment period by around eight months. So it sounds like still okay, right? So I'll go back to the simple calculation here. Let's say if we follow the instruction of the bank, 1980 if we multiply with 35 years together with 12 months or we can directly multiply 420 if we follow the instruction of the bank let's say we are paying 1980 the total amount we payable okay so here i'm trying to type out total amount payable to the bank is actually 831600 so what if we pay a little bit more extra okay we pay extra 20 ringgit per month and we can actually shorten the repayment period by eight months just now, right? As I show it to you, we can finish everything in the month uh, 412. So over here, we can calculate the total payable, total amount payable easily. We take the 2000 here, multiply with uh, 412 months. And we can see that indirectly, we can save some money okay so most probably we save around mm, one th ten thousand or maybe less than ten thousand okay so what if we can pay a little bit more let's say two thousand five hundred let's say i pay extra two thousand five hundred and let's see what's the impact of the extra five hundred that we're going to pay every month so over here let's check it out by which month we're going to finish our payment. So over here, you can see that we can actually finish our loan somewhere in 274. Meaning to say, if we pay extra 500 every month, we can just finish our loan in just 274 months only. What an amazing figure. 
So let's try to see what is the total amount payable if we pay 2,500 every month because we're going to finish everything in 274 months only. So over here, how can we find out the interest that we save? Interest saving, very simple. Okay, what you have to do is equals to the original figure that you're supposed to pay back to the bank and minus with the new figure here. And you can see that if you pay extra 500 every month, indirectly, you can save up to 146,600 as the interest. And you can also shorten your repayment period by many, many months. If you're taking the figure just now, okay, we can shorten the date actually by, okay, just now it's original, it's 420 months, right? So we minus with 274 months. You can see that. We can actually shorten the repayment period by 146 months, which is close to 12 years. Or we can say more than 12 years actually because 12 years we have 144 months so amazing right if we able to pay extra 500 every month so basically that's all about the tips for how to reduce the housing loan interest thank you for listening see you in the next video everyone see you bye